Now, let's suppose that you had the exact opposite types of shifts in the curve, or relative shifts in the curve. That is, the supply curve shifts by this amount with the cost, the added cost, equal to this vertical distance. Let's suppose also that the demand goes up but only goes up from D1 to D2, uh, and this is S2 here. The new equilibrium will be here at Q1. Equilibrium price will be a P1. Now, again, I, I failed to say that this vertical distance here is the added price uh, that consumers are willing to pay for this new feature. Are consumers better off? Well, they have to pay an increase in price equal to that. Uh, the added value is equal to this vertical distance here. Uh, well, they're paying more for it than, than it is worth. So consumers are worse off. Well, are producers worse off? Producers get a higher price from P1 to P2, but notice that their added cost is even greater. This is like saying the producers get an increase in the price of $7, but they must incur an added cost of $9 uh, to uh, get that added price. Uh, producers and consumers are worse off, and we should suspect that because the output level uh, goes down. There's one more interesting case, and that is the case of would producers ever consider uh, lowering the um, uh, the quality of the product. Would they ever subtract out uh, a feature from the product? Well, it's, it's, it's possible that they would, but it would only be possible if there is a substantial uh, cost saving. Now, if you take away a feature, uh, we can imagine that consumers' uh, demand would fall, uh, and the um, vertical distance between these two curves would equal the lost value uh, that uh, consumers get from not having as many uh, features on the products. They, they once were willing to pay a price equal to that. Now they're willing to pay a price equal to this. Why? Because they have lost value in terms of, of lost features. Well, the um, consumers might still be better off if that were the case. Uh, if, say, supply curve, the supply curve were to move uh, to S2 uh, from uh, S1. Here the cost savings would be equal to this vertical distance. That is, uh, without, with the uh, feature, producers were requiring a price equal to this level up here. Without the feature, they no longer have to incur as many costs, so they're willing to accept a lower price. Are consumers and producers uh, better off as a result of the worsening of the product or the uh, subtraction of a feature. The equilibrium price is going to be here at Q1. I'm sorry, the equilibrium quantity will be there. And the equilibrium price uh, will be P1. We know that uh, consumers gain in terms of um, uh, reduction in, in price, but are they better off on balance because they lose the feature? And we can observe that they uh, value the feature equal to the distance between the vertical distance between the two demand curves. Consumers were w willing to pay this price with the feature. Now they're willing to pay this price uh, without it. So they, they uh, without the feature, they're, they're willing to pay, say, $4 less, but they actually have to pay uh, 6 or uh, $7 less. The consumers are better off. Our producers better off. The producers lose uh, this price uh, here, or they incur a price reduction. But notice that the producers uh, incur a cost reduction equal to this vertical distance uh, there. So they lower their cost by this distance, resulting in a reduction in the price they're willing to accept. But they only have to um, accept a a price reduction of equal to PE 
minus uh, P1. So both parties are, are better off uh, by the worsening of uh, this product.